Hey there, if you want to withdraw your money from your DeFi wallet into your bank account, you are in the right place. So first of all, as you can see, I'm already here into my DeFi wallet. So in here, all right, so in here, let's say, for example, I have just a few dollars already added into my bank. But in this case, what I want to do is to send that directly into my bank account, right? Now, if I go and go for, let's say, for example, I want to go for send, you want to choose a, a specific network, you want to choose a specific coin. What I can do is to send from my DeFi wallet into my Kronos wallet. So what happened in here is that what I can do here is going to scroll a little bit down. So it's not the same thing having a crypto.com uh, .com wallet and a DeFi wallet. But what I can do is to link to both applications. So once I have my money already in here, I'm going to go back into account section. I'm going to go into my home section. Here I have the settings option, right? Now I want to scroll down and see you can see here it says permission crypto.com DeFi wallet connected. So what's happening here is that I can send money from my DeFi wallet into my crypto and to do that on the other way from crypto.com into my DeFi wallet. So I'm going to go back into DeFi wallet. I'm going to select here Kronos and just in case you have just a few Kronos, you want to send that directly into your crypto.com application. As you can see, here's my application connected, right? So why do we want to do that? Because here into crypto.com, what we can do, uh, specifically speaking about my country, is that I can redeem my money here at almost $5. So what I can do here is that I can select my tokens. I can go into sell. I can send from one uh, cryptos from another one, or I can choose cash, right? I can go into sell 46 of the Kronos and go into sell. So what's going to happen is that this money, I can now redeem that into my bank account. But specifically speaking about this situation, I cannot do that because I don't operate with pounds, with euros uh, into my country. I only operate with MXN or USD dollars. So in my case, it's not possible. But what I can do, if you have the same problem with uh, this situation, what I can do is whether you can apply for a Visa card or I can send this money from a specific wallet that can be related into the currency that I'm currently living. So in my case, in my specific case, I use Bitso because Bitso is already connected into my bank account. So I just need to send my money away from my DeFi wallet. I don't even have to send that directly into crypto. I mean, I can go into DeFi wallet, send this into Bitso and here into Bitso, I just need to transfer my tokens and convert those into the currency that my bank allows. In my case, is MXN. And lastly, I need to go into send the maximum amount, go into next, and I can send that directly into my bank. So that's the way I do this. That's the way I can make this a little bit more faster. So depending on the country you're currently leaving, there are a few tools that can be available for you. But now I just gave you three of them, right? So whether you can choose from DeFi, from crypto into your bank account, or even use another crypto wallet. But that's totally depending on you guys. So hopefully this was a very useful video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. And hopefully I will see you next time. Goodbye.